everyone. Well, I came into my nursery this afternoon and uh, I've changed everything around in here. As you can see, I've got my teddies back up on the big chest of drawers and some bits and pieces on, on there because that's where my Christmas tree is going to go. So I didn't want to have too many babies or anything on there. <laughs> There's little Robin. And then I've got Vincent, Sally Ann, Katie and Joseph sitting there and lots of pretty things up on the shelf for my beautiful clock and you can see what the time is. It's 25 to 5 in the afternoon and I've got my, um, my dinners cooking for me and my husband. And I haven't had time to do a video today and I, I really find that aggravating. So I thought, well, something's been kind of on my mind. There's Ginny. She loves being on that rocking horse. Absolutely loves it. And it's that I just find it so aggravating. Absolutely aggravating sometimes. It's my little boys. To think which baby to come and change for you. Um, There's my elf family sitting on the table. <laughs> and little Phoebe. And round here is Tommy. And he's playing with that puzzle. And I thought, well, I'll just come on and show you the babies and say, you know, I just find it really, really aggravating. Have I got too many babies? You know, is that the problem? Have I got too many? I don't know how many is too many, but I do find it very hard to pick a baby to come on and change and talk to you all. I just... And I think what Gail did on her channel, Susie Q's Happy Haven, asking you all who was your favourite and um, who you would you like to see, it's a great idea and it's really working well. But whenever I ask, nobody ever says. And I find that hard. And there's my big Felix. I'm afraid I can't um, change him very often. He is very heavy very very heavy he's a full-bodied silicone baby boy and he is a big baby boy as you can see he fills the cot I don't know if you can see he fills the cot and he's nine and a half pounds and every time I try to change him for you I end up hurting my wrists and they're really bad for a few days so I'm afraid little Felix, well big Felix will be looking for a new mummy in the new year because I can't, I just can't pick him up, you know I can't change him, it's such a shame because I absolutely love him but the smaller babies like Beatrix and Sydney and Georgiana are perfect, you know these two are full bodied and they're not heavy and Georgiana is partial but this big man is far too big. Such a shame, isn't it? But yeah, I just, sometimes I'm just, I want to come on and talk to you all. It means a lot to me to chat to you all. I have no female friends here at all. And um, yeah, I like to come on and chat to you all, but oh my goodness, it's just overwhelming you know coming in here and I've got so many beautiful babies and how do you choose how do you choose I just find it hard and it's something I'd love your help with you know if you want to see a particular baby uh, and me to change them please say because I'm just at the end of my tether with it, you know, and this is when I get, so I think, have I got too many? Should I sell some or whatever? But I don't want to because they're all gorgeous, you know what I mean? So help me out here, please. Help me out. It's been an 
awful day here in my part of the UK. It's pouring with rain all day. It's been really, really horrible and poor little Amber managed to get one one walk today, one sniff along, but that was it. <laughs> Show you my gorgeous Charlie bears. I do love my Charlie bears and my fairies. So, yeah, let me know what you think for my Monday musings because, yeah, it's so aggravating. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. You're special. Mwah. I also collect Savaganese dolls. They're made in Germany and they're gorgeous. I might bring those on and show them to you too if you're interested.